All right. Welcome once again, ladies Watch and it. gentlemen. We're going to be ready here. First game of the evening, which starts a lot later than it really should. But um, it's only two games tonight, the first of which is Dignitas and Hellraisers. How do you feel, Samla? Mm -hmm. Two it's matches, the, man. Yeah. Two matches tonight for the EPL. But uh, this is due to the World Championship. Yeah. You got um, a lot of teams, got a lot of players that are being split up right now that are heading all over to Serbia to compete in the World Cup. So, you yeah. know. Just means that it's going to be a little bit trickier to, to get the schedule down, but it still means that we've got a good match, good couple of matches actually, because SK is going to be playing versus Fnatic tonight yeah. as well, and, and they have to have a stand-in because Pronax isn't there. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. Could they get Puff maybe? <laughs> Could that be a thing? Please make it, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, Just... yeah, I mean, over in Serbia, they've got the, they've got Vendetta, they've got YNK over there as well. It's super exciting. Dude, they've I'm got happy a lot. About it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people. A lot people over of people there. there. Man. It's a big crew. This is the current uh, standing in this particular lead here, the ESL, ESCA Pro League, and um, Fnatic are on top, but you know, Na'Vi, TSN, they're not really far of Envy, neither. It's uh, it's all, you know, on the top there, a little bit close right now. Dignitas mm -hmm. um, have actually been doing very well for themselves. Looks like they were about yesterday to lose to Mouse Sports on Cobble, but then they sort of brought it back in overtime and actually ended up winning anyway. So good job on Dignitas right now. 3-1, pretty good result for them at the moment, I think. Um, that yeah. was despite Chris J's best efforts as well. I mean, he had an all base, he was hitting shots, and he did yeah. everything that he possibly Possibly could, and it just wasn't enough in the end. Yeah, I mean, they they had some sick rounds like that, and um, obviously uh, seventh uh, to last place obviously is uh, is a little bit more tough for some of the teams, including one of them that will be playing tonight in SK. They're 0 and 6, and they're playing Fnatic tonight. Man, Hellraisers as well, 1 and 3. Basically, the other side. They've just gone through a roster change as well, so that's something that we'll get to talk about a little bit as the uh, as the players join up onto the server. Because yeah. hashtag new Hellraiser, yeah. hashtag new simple, hashtag new simple. Simple's back, bro. Tag hash. S S what would you call it? What did you call it? Hag tash? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, did. <laughs> I, said, I said weird things. It's like suffering suck tash. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean. But yeah, um, I mean you're right. That whole that whole lineup has changed. Uh, picking up Oscar and Stiko as well. Yeah. Um, so that that should be very interesting. Um, you know, Stiko, I'm not 100 percent sure I'm sold on that. Um, Oscar, I'm very excited about. Um, Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's looking really he's good. He's an interesting player. So and um, uh, and I mean I we'll guess see. apparently like this is all. This is all um, due to the players actually playing now more, like getting these mixed matches going on. You start to know uh, more about the yeah. talent and all that. FPL. Exactly. All that stuff. Exactly, yeah, that's it. And this JW actually gave the shout-out as well, where he's like, I don't think uh, you know, Oscar would have been picked up if, they, if it weren't for that, right? It could well be. I mean, it's an interesting thought, isn't it, that the, sort of the top of the pro scene, that the, the reason that some people ascribe to why the European scene uh, you know, it's like a step ahead of, of every other scene is because they've had this one Facebook group where all the, you know, the teams will go and ask for mm -hmm. scrims against the top teams. So it's been really easy if you are like in the top 10 or 12, you can go and like find other top teams to practice against. And I mean, this is kind of like that only now it's not just a team based thing. It's just like if you're a decent player you could get a chance to play and maybe someone will notice you. That's exactly it, right? Now, yeah. all of a sudden, instead of it being mixes where it's very, you know, old boys club. I mean, it still is kind of old boys club. It's kind of a weird bit, in yeah. a way because, well, there are certain criteria you have to meet, but one of them is like you have to be on a team. Yeah. Uh, you know, and this is the main thing. Like, if you have a team and you're competing in a league, then you can play, much and to my chagrin, it? because all I want to do is play that league and I can't play it. Anyways. Oh, isn't it Taz like one of the officers in this one? Yeah, Couldn't like, you, like Taz, Olaf, come on, bro. I, like, I feel like bribing Taz would be the easiest thing in the whole world. I think we can manage that we much. Could, we can probably figure yeah. something out. I think that's a way through. Just here. get a stuffed want... animal, you know. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll come up with something. Don't worry. Yeah. Can make for the next scandal. We're right here, you know. Well, we'll get the room on fire team together. It's yeah. that simple. Buy it. Buy our way into FPL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we have a team, guys. Yeah. We and have we have skins. So a team. Um, yeah. Think about it, Taz. Um, we are going to head into the game here. It's going to be Hellraisers and Dick's House on train. Best of one game. And um, this is the ESL, ESCA Pro League, of course. We are just missing our last couple of players. Now, we should be good to go. Uh, but it's not far off, really. Um, I mean, Dignitas, what do you think? Are they going to continue their success here tonight? Or are they, I mean, playing against a team like Hellraiser, sure, they're a new team, and that's a bit of a, a problem for them. But, you know, that's simple playing in Oscar as well. And it's like, Dignitas will have almost no idea what they're doing anyway. Yeah, I think it's going to get a little bit, uh, it's going to get a little hairy on this one. I'm hoping that we see the same form from AZ as well that we saw yesterday, where he was oh, just yeah. going ham, like getting headshots everywhere. Him and Kirby, like, it seemed like everybody had their shining moment on Dignitas, but AZ in particular, he's he just continues to do crazy work for Dignitas. So now we're going to ma match him up versus Simple, basically. I think he's kind of the equivalent. It's like Asian Pimp. It's going to be versus, you know, Simple, basically. Simple and uh, 
And actually, I guess it's going to be like simple and Oscar, because it's kind of hard to yeah. t kind of hard to place. You know, who's going to be that that top heavy hitter apart from Simple on Hellraisers right now? Just because Angel and Kucher, both of them have like Angels. We saw at the qualifiers at Stockholm that you know he was looking good on an individual level. He had some close moments, Kucher as well. But you know they aren't like the consistent heavy fraggers that you that you're looking for, right? So I think a lot of that weight is going to come down to these these new players on the roster, Oscar Stiko, like. We yeah. have to look to them now to, to actually, you know, carry that flag and let Angel and Kucher just focus on the calling. Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, I, I won't mind if, if Angel's doing a little bit of entry fragging because he's been sort of fairly successful doing that in the past. Mm -hmm. But um, you're right. Some of the hard carrying should probably be dealt to uh, to some of those newer players who are obviously very hungry for it as well. I am curious to see, I mean, the way that Oscar sort of um, made an impact in some of those games that we were casting. Oh, you're right. Maybe even going quite a bit back. What? Uh, thanks to Svetolga. I totally forgot. Simple is still ESL banned. Oh, so he's yeah, not you're right. He is. He's not going to be playing. That's some good information, actually. I forgot all about that. I was caught up in the excitement of having Oscar and Simple in the same team. Right. Um, and, I, and it leads into this point that I was about to make. I was just about to say, are they going to be stepping on each other's toes if they play together? Because they are sort of uh, occupying somewhat similar roles. So, um, you know, there's hardly even enough room on one team for one Simple. You know, if you have, like... One simple and then like Balkan simple on the team. It's gonna be really tough. <laughs> I don't know what Oscar's like as a person, but he's but his play style is also sort of can be very aggressive with the orb, very uh, w very out there as well. So mm. you know, if you have two people like that on the team, is it gonna work? Could Fnatic work with two JWs? Uh, it might be too much. Might be too much. But I think that there's going to be a little bit more restraint on uh, Hellraisers. You know, I don't know if they're going to give uh, Oscar as much of a free reign. They, m they might not. I mean, they might still be going for simple on the ADA, uh, not on the ADA, if you're having him on the rifle like they had for Stockholm as well. I mean, they might have been limited by that, and simple might have been a little miffed, you know, because they, they had to have Mo using the AWP, or it seems like that was his, like, his primary thing, just yeah. because he's not going to have that impact with the rifle. So simple decided, or probably Angel basically said, you know, simple, we need you to rifle. And simple, it wasn't like that was a big knock to his game either. He still did great work with the rifle. But I'm imagining now that they, if, they, if they're bringing him back, that they'll have that double op in the, in the cards that they can bust that out at times. But I think simple should be the primary opper. Yeah, it makes the most sense, really. Um, try, and, try and just get him to shock and awe the other team and make it really hard to, to, to you know, play against. It's, mm -hmm. a bit, it's a bit rough when you run into that, that, mate, that kind of craziness that simple brings to a, to a game. We'll see. Who are we missing at the moment? We've always got the manager playing. I'm assuming he's not going to be here. Um, other than that, it's Kucha, Oscar, Angels here. This might be simple. Who knows? I'm not exactly sure. This, this, this is, is when... He, is he trying to cheat his way in? You know, when you're starting to play against players too, it's like, okay, who am I actually playing against right now? Quick, check the Steam profile. What are his past names? Like, uh, hmm. There's everybody. Well, I mean, if LMBT is going to step in for simple, that's going to be crazy because he's the coach. Yeah. And so it's, it's it does not seem like Lambot. Yeah. I think it is right. I think LMBT is like short for Lambot. We can uh, just call him L LMBT. LMBT for now. That's a safe one because I know that at least. But I mean, who the hell's best team ever? Is that Cooch? No, it's no, not Cooch. It's not Cooch. Um, that, that must be Stiko. Stiko then? I'm guessing. That must be Stiko. We're just assuming at this point, somebody tweet us and tell us if, if we're right or wrong, but we just assume it's Deco. It's going to be Hellraisers and Dignus House playing each other here in a best of one game. It will be on train for the ESL ESCA Pro League. I'm at this with me is Sandler. It's going to be Hellraiser starting on the CT side and Dignus House get a chance to start on the terrorist side. And we'll see what they could do. MSL picking up a Tech 9, but no armor. So not really the full raid boss mode here. And apart from that, they actually do have two smokes, and even uh, putting one of them out here in the courtyard, Pip still has another one to go down Ivy. And look at this push coming out from uh, Hellraisers right now into B Halls. They had three players on B start off strong, and then LMBT, he's going to be leading the charge into Pop Dog. This is going to be really dangerous for Dignitas, because they're going to have this strong offense. A whole wall, basically, of Hellraisers players are going to be here to greet Team Dignitas as they make their way out from Ivy. LMBT coming around the corner, dropping Schneider, and Oscar's gonna get a kill as well. So now it's all down to AC, who has picked up a triple kill and is looking for a little bit more. He's got the health for it as well, getting shot in the back, and Angel's gonna land that kill. So now it is all on Kirby here. One versus two, trying to see if he can make it work. Could have been a kill easily enough there, and that was only five health left on that player, but the other kill is gonna be significantly more tricky, and he's coming in with a good timing. Instant headshot here in about 45 seconds. Maybe he still doesn't know. And he's lost the bomb. He's lost bomb control. Yeah, but he's playing the long con here. Yeah. He's going to try and wrap all the way around and trick Angel. 
Holy hell, he's gonna have so little time. He's gotta, he's gotta be just banking on the kill right now. Yeah, I think so. He's just hoping that Angel will be looking the wrong way. And Angel, I love this as well. Angel, he's cutting off angles, so he's making sure that okay, if you want to come through connector, if you want, he's he's just closing off these angles so that you can't get caught off guard. So that there's no real way to backstab him, and he's already watching his the way into the back as well. So Angel will be prepared as soon as a, a kid becomes around this corner. It's gonna be real tough for him. Unless he can just hit the perfect headshot, but no, timing works out for Angel. Comes back around that corner, gets two kills in the pistol round, and all of the time used there in that pistol. Hellraisers, they will win it. Yeah. What's really confusing is MSL was making his way in this way, while three people from Dingsas were pushing this way. And Kucha, he got caught in the middle right here, which means he should have been dead instantly. Now, he got the kill on MSL, but the other people pushing back here, mm. they didn't really do anything. They were just, like, slowed, slowed down. So either MSL was too quick or there was some sort of miscommunication they should have been able to do more then i think well we you know we gotta say thanks to how to to what uh, twitter anders as well oh yeah uh because um apparently we're blind and the names are written on their profile pics so that is stakeout all right fair enough then msl trying to put a couple of shots through <laughs> It's all good. Oh yeah, the names are. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I'll blame something. Thanks, Twitter. Yeah, we appreciate that. That's why we need you guys to do some of that detective work. See, if the, it's just four eyes aren't enough, guys. We need all you guys too. We need your help. That's actually, that's very smart. That means they can call themselves whatever they want and we will always more or less know. Yeah, this is the, I mean, it might be even, think about it for ESL where it's like, apparently that's his his ECA account yeah. name. So, you know, you, you're stuck with that name. Just like Freeze, right? He's got that Forest Bambo, Bam, Bambi yeah. thing going on. You know, now we know. No doubt about it. And, you know, there's no doubt as well that LMBT is going to do some damage here with that MP9. Picks up two kills with it. Schneider and AC still alive, and they're going to get wrapped on. But look at this. Actually, they managed to get two kills and bring it back to a two on three. AC's got an M4 now, and he gets another kill. Right, Schneider gunning for it here. Still eight bullets left running. Going to get the headshot on Oscar, and now it's all going to be on Stiko. He goes down to AC. And they let go of a round where they get two entry frags, so there's only three people left there with the Tech Nines, and they still lose it. That is not acceptable. Anders and is not happy. And is, Anders is not pleased. He does not approve. No. And, okay, Scout, yeah, Force Buy. There's that. You're, you're in a double ego situation. You have to Force Buy. So, Hellraisers, they aren't going to try and play... You're, they're not going to try and play for, you know, the long game or anything like that. They just want to get right back into it. Ooh. MSL. That I'm pretty sure is the the jump throw script in play there. Well, then for sure MSL. Uh, well, you know, still legal. Nobody has uh, said anything about it, so that's just how it works. MSL picking up two good kills there. Lots of people, by the way, use that script, and um, and why shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, no. LMB I mean, everybody event. jumps off of jib bridges as well, you know. <laughs> Well, Pimp gonna be the last man standing here, and he's got a chance, like, one bullet on either player, and he will have done it. And not gonna happen with the coach here. LMBT picking up three kills with the scout, shutting them down, and Dignes actually getting slowed down out of this courtyard area here, and ends up dropping to the scout, so that's a bit of a shame. That looks just so chaotic, right? MSL, he's, he's just turning left and right, and he keeps finding a target every time. There are people everywhere out there. It's just chaos. I, by the way, have actually done some research to try and figure out, like, if there if there is any league at all in which that uh, that the jump script is, is not allowed, mm -hmm. and I haven't found one yet, so, um, I... I I've even employed people to like help me you know, find it. I can't find a leak where someone has like specifically said it's not allowed. So yeah, it is allowed everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, it comes down to how you want to look at the game. That's all you know. It's like I'm sure a lot of people did research Ooh. as far as like steroids and stuff. You know, maybe that's not allowed. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure they even, they even employed people, Anders. You know, to, to you know, is steroids are steroids? A couple okay. of lawyers. See if there's any loopholes. I didn't hire any lawyers, I have to admit. Let's ask Armstrong. Whoosh. Pip. Gonna go down there. Ah. No, oh, dig. All right, Schneider. Gotta work on that dig play. He got a tag. He got a tag on the Kucher. Okay. But there it is. Oh, I thought he got that jump. But, okay, Oscar gets it in the end. Nicely done. Yeah, pretty good stuff there. All right. So I don't know why people are hating on, on Armstrong so much. I mean, I don't think steroids help him get to the moon, really. I think it's cool. Oh, zing. <laughs> Fifth round is coming up. And, um... I don't know, Dignitas, you know, they, that should have been their big, you know, comeback into the first half here. Yeah. Win that big round with the Tech Nines, and then they... I don't know what they're doing now. Yeah, they're going to get stripped of all their titles. It's just, uh... This is not easy for them at all. 
Especially when you need all the T rounds you can get on train. Even, oh my god, that monster nade. Pimp, one nade, down to 6 HP, and then they walk right into Stuko. Picks up two kills. Now it's going to be down to the remaining three here for Dignitas. Oscar's up close with the Deeg. Just annihilates MSL. And that was a very quick round indeed. No time wasted on Dignitas' side. They weren't trying to, they weren't trying to pace themselves or anything. They just wanted to get that round over with. Well, four and one, sixth round coming up. Finally, it's time to buy for Dignitas again. And I mean, it's a bit weird. They lose the pistol in the following round with Tech Nines. Then they have to play a, a bunch of more rounds where they don't really get anything done. So. Yeah, it's into the sixth round before they can really sort of have a, a normal looking buy. Pimp with the AWP has yet to kill anybody. Yeesh. Two deaths away from being Agent Pimp here. Keep in mind uh, th that yesterday, I mean, that's such a weird start for Pimp as well, because yesterday he was the man doing a lot of work for Dignitas. He was top fragging on Cobble, just just wrecking people. And so to see him at 0-0 and 5, that, is, that's, that doesn't bode well for Dignitas. You need Pimp to be hitting shots. You need him to have a strong start on the map. And now, there it is. Pimp gets legged, 16 HP. There was a man there with the rifle, but what happened? Yeah, weren't able to pick up the kill, sadly, or uh, even do the, the damage. There was Schneider there to help him out, so a bit of a shame. Stiko is pushing forward, and Kirby is right around the corner, looking to see if he could uh, get anything done. He's got the AK, but he gets crouched in on and can't exactly land the spray right there, so now he's sort of stuck in this corner. Needs uh, a little bit of help, maybe, to get out. That is really clever play by Stiko. The fact that he, he knows the angle that Kirby's going to hold, and so he starts crouching just as he gets into that angle. So Kirby, that split second where he has to readjust his aim. That's all, it's all details. Devil in the details there. This is just going to be a fake play, though, onto the B site now from, uh, from Dignitas. They're throwing some nades out there, trying to get Hellraisers to rotate over. And Stiko's going to be the... He's going to be, like, the linchpin here for Hellraisers because he's yeah. up in Sniper. He's here to deny that plant while the, other, while the rest of his team went to check on B. A nice shot from Oscar there. Stiko, you're right, still up here in a long-range spray. Finally connects. That took a long time there. Still alive and looks like in spite of the fact that they did have a really heavy rotate towards that B bomb site, they're in a fine spot here, Hellraisers. A little bit of a kill from Schneider, but that is gonna be it. And uh Hellraisers now five and one. Dignitas with a big opening. Everyone except for Steco rotated out, but it's still it wasn't quite enough. Yeah, it's not quite there. And now they're going up against a Hellraisers that can afford to get incendiary nades, smoke nades, HEs every round. It's gonna be it's not gonna get any easier here for Dignitas. By the way, you notice that jungle spray cave from the Kirby has? Yeah. It's mine. You gave that to him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why. He messaged me yesterday and said, like, hey, that jungle spray, okay, do you, like, are you using it for anything? Can I have it? Like, oh, yeah, I guess. Did he actually mess that? Well, I mean, how much does that skin worth? Like, two pence? Nothing, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's completely, I don't know why he wanted it, so. And he never said it. So I was just like, all right. Oh, no. He's a victim. We found another victim, Anders. He bet his skins. Yeah, that's probably it. I probably, in, like, helped him, you know, stay in this addiction. Well, LMBT going to be falling off here. Molotov goes out and Angel sprays down. One tries to get a little bit more here. Kirby's down and a second kill goes through. And that's the bomb drop as well. It's a really good job here for Hellraisers making it work. AC could have been a mid-air headshot there for LMBT. But he's doing a really good job as the stand-in coach here. 10, 1, and 4. Not bad. That's when you can start saying, yeah, okay, buds. That's right. Listen to what I say because yeah. when I get on the server, I start doing work. This is how it's done. Yeah, next time they're like, yeah, we're not gonna listen. It's gonna, he's gonna remember this day. That's what he, exactly. That's where LMBT just like walks up behind him and slaps him by on the back of the head, just like, bro. <laughs> I mean, this isn't looking very good though for Dignitas. They uh, they at least get a full buy, but Pimp has opted out of the AWP. Okay, this is their tactic. Just go straight out, Yolo. Try and take him by surprise. Turn of speed here from Dignitas, and so far it's working out great. Pimp with two kills and a third one as well. Yeah, that's a good way to shut down the whole push here. LMBT going to fall down as well. It's a quad kill for Pimp at the end here. And that's a nice way to bring it back onto the scoreboard. Now he's up to five total. Six and two, and Dignitas finally picking up a round here. Hellraisers, they've got the money for a buy, but if they lose this round, it's going to get a little bit tricky. Yeah. Maybe. Double AWP. Double AWP, that's the answer, it seems. Oscar and LMBT. Even without simple, it's working out just fine. I, I'm... Really impressed with LMBT though. He's, I mean, sometimes you get this where it's just like, okay, I haven't played in a long time, and so, yeah, it's looking like that smoke, man. You might be right. Yeah, it's landing in the exact same spot. So they're forcing out so many nades though with these smokes. Look at how, I mean, Hellraisers, they hardly have any nades left. And AC's already taken out LMBT. That opens up the B site. Nobody was there to back him up, and so Dignitas, they get a free bomb site out of this. Oh, important kill there for MSL. 
That could have been the one sort of comeback into a round like that if Angel comes behind and ends up uh, dropping a couple of people. Oscar doing a good job taking out one kill and it could have been a second one there, but Kevin going to be able to shut down Kucher and that will be the round six and three. And now Hellraisers. And money look looking too good here. And right back in the hole again. Two rounds, that's all Dignitas had to do. And Dignitas, I think that they finally gotten over it, right? They're like, okay, enough of this slow play. This isn't working for us. You know what we need to do? We need to change the pace. That was a great call by MSL. Sometimes that's that's all it's, all it's waiting for is knowing when to change gears. Yeah. When to go from you know that, that first to second gear, and you just slam it into fourth, fifth, sixth. I don't know how a car works. But, you know, they, it's just they go fast, Anders. They go fast. You're American. You, you know... That manual gear shift and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, doesn't I work mean, so well, I've, does it? I've been living in Sweden long enough where it's like a car? What's that? All right. Who, who needs a car? We have excellent public transport. <laughs> Good shot there from Kirby. Second kill of the round for him. Of course, it's uh, no armored targets he's fighting, so should be fairly easy for them to take out uh, this round. And indeed, it's looking good. Kucha, last man standing, Deagle in hand. And trying to sneak close here. They spot him, though. And he can't get it done. Kirby, triple kill. And it will be six and four. I mean, I think that that sort of the change of pace that you're talking about, it's also it's also easier or it's maybe even only possible to do it if you really have like that confidence. You know, you got to mm -hmm. just believe we are just better and we will just do it. And actually, Dignitas have sort of started to edge into the realm of those teams where sometimes it really seems like they are just like, they're not just sort of, you know, faking the confidence. They really they really have it sometimes. You know, it's like, well, you know, AC will just get the triple or quad kill and we'll win the round. So let's go. Um, it's... It's looking like they are, uh, they're sort of evolving as a team in that sense. Pimp had his moment, maybe. I mean, that could, that could be the man, you know, he doesn't only just put the rings on for his opponents. Maybe he had to reach, uh, reach across there, you know, give a quick love tap over to the rest of his teammates, let him know. I mean, this is a scary situation here for Hellraisers, though. Hasn't even been any real aggression out of Dignitas, and they already have no nades left. It's all going to come down to the rifle work for him. A little bit of information gained there. They, so they know that Oscar's waiting around here with an op. That's good information to have for Dignitas. Yeah, absolutely. And he's going to fall back quite far away. Angel playing close with his back to Pop Dog. Maybe a little bit scary, but um, again, he's in a position here where if they Pop Flash down, then he'll hear it and he can go back and try and shoot at them. So it's still a pretty good idea. They're going for the same play, Dignitas. They're going for the fake on the B. Get those nades out there. A kill from LMSL is even better. And then just wrap onto A site. But again, now the shots are actually coming in here for Hellraiser's. Coacher lur lurking around, just picks off Kedby, who's carrying the bomb. And now it's going to be down to Pimp and Schneider in a two-on-four. Schneider doing good work. No damage taken. Gets a kill. Gets a second kill. Still alive. Look at the patience on Angel back here. The uh, bomb is back there with 20 seconds. He's going to go for it here. Schneider trying to fight, but Pimp can't even be of much help. Schneider almost dead. 19 seconds. They've got to make this work. Pimp. Right around the corner, Stiko and Snyder gonna go down, Pimp gonna go down, Stiko shooting him in the back, and that's gonna be Hellraiser's winning the round. I'm really impressed by Angel just sticking over here for such a long time, and generally speaking, also the fact that they, they managed to sort of stay in these two positions at the beginning in spite of that fake, mm -hmm. that even had such a good start to get a kill as well, you know, that's usually the best way to sell it, but... Um, Hellraisers weren't impressed this time. Well, Hellraisers, the one difference this time is that it wasn't just like the one man or the two man holding. They had three guys over on that site holding on the B site, right? Because Oscar had rotated off IV. He had been he went over to B site. So they had three guys there. So I think that's why Hellraisers were like, well, we don't actually need to move just yet because we, we still have two guys alive over there. And so Dignitas, unfortunately, they, they ran right into a counter. And oh. what, what was that? Did Oscar just yeah. shoot his teammate? He did shoot Angel in the back. I mean, luckily, it wasn't, it wasn't a heavy hit there. But Angel still has got so much out of this. He's in T main and realizing that no one's there. LMBT playing close with the Nova. But he's going to jump in between the misses to shot. Oscar's here though. Going to get one and a second one too. Going to get the cross kill. It's so close, but it's not happening. He gets the third kill anyway. Pimp going down. Kirby stuck back here in a one versus four. Gets a kill, but down to three health. Great round from Oscar and a nice headshot from Kirby. Jesus, that was glorious. Oh, Kirby. Not going to get the final one, though. Angel, he steps out just in time to get that kill. Three kills from a, from Kirby, though, in that round made it way too expensive for Hellraisers. And uh, all of that despite Oscar's good work. Yeah, that, uh, I mean, that should have been a round that was uh, much less expensive for Hellraisers, where they just come out with, you know, three, four people alive. But um, what a still, save, though. Oh, the orb? That was a fantastic save. I'm thinking that Angel's not going to have time to make it over there because Oscar died up on that train. But they knew that Pimp was up there long. I mean, that was a really good good pickup there by Hellraisers. They wouldn't have had the money to buy a new one. No, you're right. They wouldn't have. And 
Leading into the 13th round, that is sort of drawing towards the end here. 8 4 scoreline. If they can keep Dignitas on like 4 or 5 rounds, I think Hellraisers will have done a pretty good job here. So they're not that far off at the moment. It's looking much better, that's for sure. Aggressive play. Once again, Hellraisers really banking on Dignitas going for the fast push onto the A site which is uh, one of the go-to strats for a lot of teams right now. That you know, Again, that turn of speed, right? You want to get out there, get out fast onto the A side. It's really hard to deal with if you do it right, that rush. And so Hellraiser's is putting four guys over on the A side early. Now they rotate the second man over. Now Stick goes here to bolster the defense. And LMBT, he might be going aggressive here. He might be in for a bit of a sad time. Pimp is waiting around the corner. Oh, that's bomb down. Second kill, Stiko nearly with the triple spray down. Schneider and AC going to be left alone here and in a very tough position. Schneider very nearly dead, just a single grenade throw away it seems, or a shot from the AWV. And AC going to be left up here in a one versus four. He goes down as well. Triple kill. Again, the coach just coming in huge right now. Yeah, he's doing so good. such good work. Glad to see that he still has it as well, because, I mean, LMBT used to play CSGO back in the day. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, one of the first, uh, one of the first guys to switch over, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean, the fact that LMBT, he's still, he's still got it in him. But then there's, there's that other way, you know, where it's just like, okay, you may not be playing, but you're still watching CS:GO, talking CS:GO, breathing yeah. CS:GO. I and mean, after that, it's all down to the muscle memory, and that can stick around for a while. But now, okay, here it is, Dignitas. They decided it's time to change things up, and LMBT messing up a little bit of a nade there. That could have been real valuable. A lot of damage dodged by Dignitas. Uh, Schneider and ACL dropping a bit low. We'll see if they can get past this smoke flashbang through. Stiko hiding in the corner, and they haven't spotted him, but it's Dignitas picking up the first two kills. Finally, but it return on the second one as well. Stiko picking up two, turning 180, and nearly getting that kill. Oscar going to pick it up instead. Now it's Schneider and Kierbu left here. Two people versus Hellraisers who have Angel and Oscar, and a bit of a grenade there, actually. Not too bad at all. See if they can pick up that bomb and put it down and put the pressure back on Hellraisers. Otherwise... This round, is, if it goes to Hellraisers, it's going to be a huge one for them. Does Oscar know that the bomb is out there, though? Seems like right now they're just afraid to push forward um, Hellraisers without knowing if that bomb is getting planted or not. Now they know. Angel gets that Molotov. It's going to force Schneider out into the open. And now it comes down to Kyrvi, and they have a good idea of where he's playing from as well. They step in together. Such key. That's the key right there as well, is that Hellraisers, they don't, get, they don't go in one at a time. I mean, sure, he saw Oscar a little bit faster than uh, he saw Angel, but they step in together, kill off Kyrvi. That's some great communication and teamwork coming out on Hellraisers for, the, for that retake. A very, very big round there. Dayton's House, they did get the bomb plant, so they can buy pretty well, but um, why is Hellraisers there? I mean... That could have been the way back in. 9-6, I think. Then Dignus does have a really good, um, st you know, foundation to play the second half off mm -hmm. of. Even if they lose the pistol at 9-6, they can really still make it back. They have been proving themselves really good on CT side as well lately. So, um, 10 rounds so far here for the newly rostered Hellraisers team. Feels like it might just be enough, especially if they can pick up this next round here. And they've got a really good setup for it. They can sneak around the back. Oscar gonna pick up a kill and Stiko still playing very closely here. They got a little bit of backup. Oscar jumping up on the train looking for the shot. And he legs. I think a Schneider all the way in the back there. Three versus four. Oh man, the Angel feeling the pressure decides to press through that smoke. That's gonna cost him big time here. And Hellraisers are now down to LMBT. He's been spotted. He tries to get off that ladder fast enough. That could have been close, but not gonna work. And Dignitas, they just get those key frags. That's that's why it's so that, that A rush is so dangerous. It's just, look at that. It's so fast. It's so in your face. And if you miss one shot or you step out just a little bit too far, like we saw with Oscar, you know, you're just, you're gone. And that's it. Dignitas, they have control of the site. Now, the reason why I thought that this was going to be a really good round is because they had two players here, Hellraisers. And obviously the push was coming down through Pop Dog and it was coming out through Main. So what I thought was, all right, maybe, maybe this guy can stick around and just wait while the other guy pushes up and sort of tries to backstab quick and obviously that leaves three people somewhere over here on the on the a-bomb site but i thought maybe they would try and flank them really quickly and they kind of didn't though the people playing that b-bomb site s slowed down a little bit too much maybe and try to rotate back through c connector so uh missed opportunity perhaps but either way 10-5 still seems like a decent enough score line here for hellraisers question is if they can uh if they can just find the last six here on the second half winning the pistol now might just uh, give them what they need. Yeah, they're right back. I mean, this is still fairly even. You're right. Winning that pistol. If Hellraisers win it, it's, it's going to be very tough for Dignitas. But if Dignitas can pick it up, then we're probably looking at, you know, 8 to 10. They win the first buy round. And then they're right back in this game. Pretty even score. At that point, you'd put Hellraisers behind. So 
this is it at the moment. And what do we have bought? Team Dignitas now going for a few more Kevlar. Now that they swapped over to the CT side. Two guys with utility. Schneider picking up that kit. And over on Hellraiser's side, Angel going for the CZ on the offense. That's interesting. Why wouldn't he go Tech 9? Mm -mm. I don't uh, know. That is a bit rare. Not too often we get to see that. Especially eight. if he's going to be spamming long range yeah. like that. What? I mean, that's... You really don't have the bullets to do that. Oh, Pimp and A's, oh, sorry, MSL are holding in this bomb site here. See if they can land some good USPS shots. Lately in pistol rounds, I feel like AC has been such a good force on this team. Absolutely. He's been doing great work, and there we go. Pimp actually trying to get that shot. He's going to get dinged down to 12. He gets overwhelmed. Now it's going to come down to MSL. He dunks a nade in there, and there it is. AC starts to chime in. MSL hears the steps, knows that somebody's close. Not going to help him, though. But luckily, AC is there, and could be picking wow. up the final. No, Angel is still around. And with that CSAT 75, oh, yeah. and he gets a kill but runs out. I'm wondering if that's like a misfire or something. Yeah, but like maybe, yeah, exactly. He was like practicing with it or something like that. Because on T side, like the CZ, we usually see it where it's just like you're waiting around an angle, right? And you mow down two guys, or it's like you wait till they get really close quarters. But if you have to go and hunt and take fights and maybe even like long range fights, yeah, you'd be thinking the Glock or the Tech 9 over the CZ. Especially on T side where it's just like you, you really need all the bullets. You, you're probably spraying a lot, you know, just trying to force the CTs back around corners, force, force ways onto a site. So if you're limited by how many uh, bullets you have, again, that doesn't really seem super strong. But I mean, maybe if you're rushing a particular position where you kind of feel like there's a good chance someone's going to be there, it would make sense to buy it. But they weren't even doing that. They were just sort of like he yeah. was creeping into main early on and taking a couple of shots through. Match is paused here. I'm not sure what the uh, what the reason is. We dropped a guy uh, oh, in the last we? round. So uh, all right. But I mean, I think that yeah, freeze time exactly. I think that he he was already dead. So it's not like it's the end of the world or anything. We should be good to go, and the countdown has begun once again, guys. So we will be getting into this, and it's going to be the full buy coming out from Dignitas. So they've they've achieved their goal at least in the second half. Pick up that pistol. Now they have to survive the force buy, and it's a great force buy as well. They've actually got that AK on Angel. Yeah, and that'll be interesting to see if that's going to make the, the big difference here. Look at the sacrifice being made by LMBT Anders. That's yeah. a coach right there. Yeah. Anything for the team. In spite of the fact that he's uh, at least was uh, close to top fragging before he got disconnected here, but um, I think he was at 15, 16. Yeah, yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he's, ta he's taking a hit for the team. He's got Kevlar. So basically what he's thinking is, great, Angel, you know what? We believe in you. Go take those fights. Take those peaks. Angel takes a bullet to the face. He's like, sweet, got my AK back. <laughs> I love uh, we'll be too. ready for it. We won't be ready for pick it up. I hope that. But um, what have we got here? From us, M4. I mean, Dignitas has also seemed like they're ready for this kind of force up. They haven't invested heavily into SMGs. It's not like one of those Fnatic 3, 4 SMG buys here. They uh, they see it coming. Only Pimp has one. And it looks like it might be a bit of a B hit coming into it. MSL close and then there's Pimp with that MP7. Not the best weapon to deal with a lot of people close range. Especially not if they've got like tech nines, this is gonna get really nasty. And you can see he gets one kill out of it. He loses his teammate MSL, and it's almost like you what the hell? He actually flips around, gets a kill. He could be going for more, but then Oscar shuts him down. Oscar with two, making this a bit more expensive for Dignitas, but now that this is the danger moment. Or it has passed rather. It's the yeah. fact that Dignitas now with that man advantage with the rifles, they don't need to get close. They can just flush him out, and Kirby finds the last kill. And now you see the SMGs come out. Now you see the MP9s. Now they know, okay, Hellraisers. They're not going to have that money. A bit scary, though. I mean, I think Oscar ended up picking actually three kills with the Deagle there. So it's one of those rounds that is uh, how does, still a bit expensive. How does Angel only have $100? Did he kill himself? Mm, how would that have happened? I, Did we miss that in the melee? I don't know. Something definitely happened. We've got uh, some MP9 action here on AC. Pissed the pistol out. Not going to be able to get the fourth kill there, but still pretty good job on his part. And MSL going to come in and clean up here. So no big issue. MP9s getting a, a lot of money. I, I kind of understand why some of them bought MP9s, but it feels like when three people do it, there's almost no way. Like some of them are bound to not, you know, get the money basically. Yeah. It almost feels like just buy two and let those two people be aggressive. And then everyone mm -hmm. else has an M4. And if the people MP9 die, then so be it. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Such a small investment to be made, but you know you still have to get kills to make it back, even if you are getting 600 bucks per frag versus the 300 you'd get with a rifle or a pistol. Uh, let's see, full buy coming in from Hellraisers, and this is the second hurdle now for Team Dignitas. If they win this one, they're right back into this. They could just tie it up at 10-10, and then Hellraisers, they're going to be in a very deep hole. 
Uh, Hellraisers, they're going to be relying on that AWP once again. Oscar, he's carrying it. It's not LMBT. Speaking of LMBT, he is really close to pop out here, trying to see if he can spray down through, and AC is right underneath, and it's perfectly possible to get some really good shots on through. AC not moving an inch. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's scary here. This man is made of stone, Anders. He's a statue. It's like in Doctor Who, right? You know, you look away, you close your eyes, and boom, AC's in your face. You're done. It's a, that's a horrifying episode. I know, man. That, out of all of the Doctor Who episodes, that, that Angel one, man, that scared the crap out of me. AC, Schneider gonna become a kill there, and AC does go down with a nice turnaround from Schneider. Defending Pop Dog, and it's gonna be a triple kill overall here for the Swedish player. So, a very good job indeed. It's gonna bring it back to 9-10. And Hellraiser's has had a lot riding on this one round. It feels like Dignitas are entering that mode where they're just not so easily gonna let go of the game. They're channeling the old Dignitas. That freight train moment where all of a sudden they swap yeah. over to CT side and then they just look indomitable. Like they struggle to get T side rounds, but then they have such good aim that on the CT side, they just lock down bomb sites. They are they're not afraid to take these fights. Schneider, as we saw, right? Just charging in, wreaking havoc. Yeah. Fetish old Damon Sasha, right. I wonder where Fetish is these days. Easy. I'm gonna be picking up a couple of kills here. Schneider also chiming in to finish off that one and Angel gonna be the last man left, and he goes down to Pimp, so that's gonna equalize the score at 10-10. Hellraiser's gonna be able to buy this time around, at least they should probably force up even... Yeah, there we go, rest with money as well. Dignitas, they, they have a pretty mean bank as well, here. Schneider with almost 10,000. That's a problem. It's a very similar situation to what we saw in the last half, though, right? Where... At about this point as well, where, you know, Hellraisers, they were starting to get money. They were floating around 10,000 on a couple people, but then Dignitas took two rounds in a row, put Hellraisers into that really awkward spot where they were forced into an eco. Now, Hellraisers have that chance. They have that same chance. If they can win this round right here, they can start putting some pressure on Dignitas. If Dignitas win this one, let alone if they keep a couple of people alive with this win, it's going to get real tough for Hellraisers. But there we go. That's the kind of shot that's necessary. Angel just catching out AZ. Yeah, the timing was perfect because they literally just put a smoke up there. Bloom that she was sort of shooting. Uh, really good timing. And that's such a common smoke, the one that goes down here by Pop Dog. Everybody does it. And, you know, it's uh, hard to find a way to play around it. I'm thinking Oscar's feeling a little nervous, though, because that's the second time he's taken a shot when he's spotted a teammate and not an opponent. So with that AWP, so may, might be an indication that he's he's a little he's wound a little tight. But yeah. I mean, big yeah. opportunity for him. Just recently added to the team, all that jazz. A look at this, Kebby's going to be peeking in. This is a really long range. So when you see nobody here, it's a big indication that something is up. And MSL coupled with the flashbangs. Now Davis should know, but a great opening kill here. Stiko going to get one, but he. Loses a teammate in LMPT, and now it's going to be MSL with a good double kill there. Schneider save, or swapping for an AWP, but bomb not planted yet either. That was the moment, but there it is. He bought just enough time for Kirby to move in and be that backstab player. And now, but the issue is that they know where Kirby's playing from. They needed Schneider to stay alive there. Kirby's setting up with the Molotov to the back of the bomb train, but that's not going to matter when Oscar's holding up tight. He's up on top of the train, so Kirby. I mean, you're gonna get exactly. Sweet. You're not even gonna spot him. Oscar's gonna be able to land oh, that shot, no problem. Yeah. Look, Look at that. Was... Just totally dejected. Yeah. He's given up. He, that's an Eeyore kind of sitting position right there. <laughs> oh. That was a Mr. Pooh reference for anybody wondering. I was thinking more like you know, it's the it's the weekend. It's early in the morning. Tell your, tell your drunken friend, like, just sit right here, I'll be back, I'll get a taxi, and then you come back, and that's how they sleep. You know? <laughs> Something like that. 11-10 Eleven... <laughs> yeah. currently, Hellraisers with a really big round. And look at this, charging on through, jumping and shooting. It will be Stiko picking up the kill, but he's on three health, and got to be a little bit careful. They are in on the bomb site though, to try and put it down, and the grenade going to rain out. We'll do a little bit of damage on some pit. Nice shot for Moscow mid-air. And takes out AZ, and once again, Schneider is thinking about coming up from behind, but if this mission isn't successful, and it isn't, Angel going to take him out, then that puts uh, an end to any kind of a retake. No. They still got two kills out of this, but again, similar situation to what happened to Hellraisers on their side. And if they lose these guns, this is a big problem for Dignitas. They need to stay alive at all costs. But Pimp, he's going to be hard-pressed. Two players are going to be pushing him. Angel hunting, that bomb could not go off fast enough right now. Pimp, point blank. <laughs> 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 
What happened? He literally took the the ladder and flew over his crosshairs. That's that's what happened. He he simply laddered up and and sort of went over. That was great. I wish we could see that from a different angle. I I, I do as well. Because that was really awkward from Pip. All of a sudden, it's like peekaboo. Yep. It'd be like one of those scary movies, the jump moment, right? Where it's you know the person's looking at the binoculars off into the distance, and then just like the clown pops up in front of him or some horrible thing like that. Clowns are terrifying, Anders. The the only the only movie I could think of where that happens right now, where like someone's like staring off into the distance, it's like the quest for the Holy Grail by Monty Python, when the guy's charging the castle, and if, like forever he's really far away, and suddenly he's there anyway. Yeah. That's not exactly a scary movie, but still. I fucked in your general direction. <laughs> uh, and I beat he gone down. It's Sneak out of Fall. Next, Kucha is going as well. And Angel and Oscar, the last two people alive here. Two versus three. An important kill for Angel, but it might not be enough. He's still alone versus two people. I had a chance for a headshot then, but there he's, he's cornered in here. He's not got the bomb, and he's out of grenades as well. So a very tough position to him to fight his way out of. He could have maybe even got killed then. Mm-hmm. There might still be an angle here. Pim takes the shot. Angel trying to rush through, but MSL was ready and waiting. In-game leaders facing off, and in the end, it's going to be MSL coming out on top. 13 frags to his name, as we can see on the scoreboard. It's AC. He's doing well, all the work, it seems, right now. If you manage to remove AC, you're in good position on Hellraiser's side. It's so good to see AC just continue to sit at the top of the scoreboard, though. Like, match after match after match for Dignitas. You, can really, you really seem to be able to count on this guy to get work done. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be... Just uh, a long time spent in the trenches, it seems, you know, building that, building on that consistency, trying to get the confidence up, make sure that, you know, it's 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 pretty much every game, as you mm. said, not just a, a, a couple of games a week. So um, he's put in some hard work, it seems. MSL falling back to a safer position to take down Oscar first, and next in line, Kucha AZ coming in here. And then M4 in hand and shooting at a teammate a little bit here. That's not called for. Oh, what a brute. What a savage. And now LMBT is the last man. Surprise, surprise, he takes out MSL, but uh, that's probably all he's going to get, although he is clicking, he's still here. Thought for a moment there he'd manage to pick up, it, like, it looked like AC or Schneider, one or the other, but they're not going to manage it, and it's tied up once again, 12-12, and Dignitas, it's, it's almost just like a carbon copy of the last half, actually. And what we're seeing right now, how it's playing out. Hellraisers win a couple of rounds, and then Dignitas, they come back into it. They break Hellraiser's eco, and this could be another moment where Hellraisers just decide it's time and run away with the game. Yeah, they need that right now, I feel like, because Dignitas are doing a fairly good job here, and it's another eco round coming out of Hellraisers. No armor and just pistols. And if Dignitas get out of this round with everybody alive, then they'll have a decent bank going forward, and that could be the big... The big problem then for Hellraisers, then they need to start pulling together consecutive rounds. Oh, pimp. Oh, he gets the kill anyway. The timing for that unscope was a bit uh, tricky. That's when you... If you are the one unscoping, right? You're just banging your yeah. fist on the table like, damn it. Always works that way. That's why I don't op. <laughs> Cursed. Oh, really. look at this. Nice creep up there and just... Sneaking on on top of the train and almost killing AZ with a Glock long range as well. It's a, it's a tricky play. That's a bit of a tell, though. That's something that they have to be careful with because Pimp, I saw Pimp do the same thing that AC just did, shooting out the windows and Sniper. That's, uh, you gotta be a bit careful about doing that too consistently. Because if people see the windows shot out, then they might know, okay, wait, somebody's up there. Yeah, you're right. Small tells like that can definitely result in some, uh, some lost rounds. If the other team catches on. Yeah. But I mean, you watch a demo, right? And you see Pimp, AC, several people doing that on Dignitas' side. If you're Hellraisers, you come back into it, you watch the demo, and you're like, eh, maybe just a small thing that you would take note of for the future. Well, current scoreline 13, sorry, to 12, and the 11th round of the second half coming up here in Dignitas. They do come out of that round with a lot of people still left alive as Pimp picks up the first shot there on Oscar. A uh, big player gone down on that other team, and now. What can they do to make up for it? They need to, I think they need to win this round. Otherwise, I think the, the, the chances that they get back in is really, really slim. Like, even now, if they lose this round, they can test, they'll still be able to buy. Yeah. But if they come out of this one with a, with a healthy economy, then... I mean, in the second half, Hellraisers have only managed to ever put two rounds together, and that's it. So now they need to do more than that. This is... I mean... 
Basically, they need to end if they don't get a plant. Before winning the round, they need to get the bomb plant to at least guarantee some money, and they're going to get that done. Hellraiser's just going towards that inner site. Bit easier to get that bomb plant down. That was so key. But now Pimp is going to be able to move in, take out Angel. AC with the backstab, though. He's going to have a field day. They line up for him, but he still gets caught. Kucher point blank with the AWP. We'll pick it up. But that was really close, and the damage is already done. LMBT, no joy for him. Just... Yeah, he, he, I mean, he looks fabulous, but it's not going to happen for him. And that's the most we can say, all right? Looks looking Look at that. good there. And the problem is, it, I mean, I can't really blame him too much, but there's really no reason for him to even run here, because even if he gets in and doesn't get killed by Pimp, Guy's defusing all the way back here, and you, can, you can't do anything to stop it. Even if you had a Molotov, you couldn't throw it far. I mean, you could throw this far, but it wouldn't kill the guy in time. He would already be defusing for a couple of seconds, so it would be... Irrelevant. If you had an AT grenade and that guy was on three health, maybe, but he was still in the one versus three, so it's just like the most he could have done there was lost his rifle. Yeah. Yeah, just needlessly. Could have been a full set of nades to work with. A little bit of the wall bang going out though. Sometimes that does actually work, does seem to do some damage. We've seen it work in the past. Right. There it is. Peek of it. What? Okay then, Stiko. That was sick. Great flick. Schneider brings it back for Dignitas, gets a kill onto LMBT over at T-Main, but that, I thought he was dead 100% there, Stiko. Yeah. That was a sick kill. Yeah, it looked like he would have heard the jump as well, and then still, he just managed just to do that. AC and Schneider picking up some big kills here. Bomb has gone down, but look at the shots through, all the way down to 14 health. Now, Kuchar on the ramp, trying to see if he can make it work. He gets a nice damage in there on Schneider and takes him out, but now it will be Stiko alone here. You know, one versus two, and they are so close. Going to be up the ladder, and somehow AC looking the wrong way. I have no idea what that was. Stiko trying to get in here, but Kirby's down there defusing. And not going to be too good, I reckon, here. Stiko missing the spray, and ends up being a defused bomb there. The glitch on GoCV making it sound like it was going to be different, but 15 to 12 favoring Dignitas. 28 kills on AC. Uh, upsetting couple of rounds here, I feel like, for Hellraisers, where they've been very close. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I mean, at least they're getting bomb plants. There we go. Yeah. That was very nice. I myself caught asleep. Yeah, it's, it just keeps, we keep saying that though, you know, Anders, it's just like, they, they're so close, they're so close, but they, they just can't seem to go like pound for pound on the frags right now. At least they get the bomb plant, they get a better buy, Oscar's got his AWP, this is it for Hellraisers, but Dignitas are not going to have any pressure on them now, they, now that they've at least guaranteed overtime. They need one more round to win this, all the pressure on Hellraisers, and they don't have all the nades that they need for a full execute or anything of the sort. MSL this time not to get caught out, he catches Angel, trying to sneak his way onto that lower site. I mean, this is all looking very good. There's also minimal grenades on Hellraiser's side, so, I mean, a lot of fake won't, well, fakes won't be happening. They just don't have the grenades for it. They could just do an execute on the bomb site, but um, either way, they need a way back into uh, to the round here. Stiko pushed up past the smoke, looking for a headshot on someone, but not able to hit it just yet. And in the meantime, Schneider with that AWP wins the duel versus Oscar. And this is where it starts to fall apart for Hellraisers. They're just getting picked off one at a time. Nice kill there by Kucher, but now he steps out. Great second frag, taking out AC and Schneider both. MSL, though, will take out his teammate Stuko, so it's going to come down to LMBT and Kucher both, and Kjerbi rotates in, excuse me, at just the right time. Kucher doing the best that he can will die in a hail of bullets, and it will be a clean victory here for Dignitas in the end. Their CT side just too good. They got, I mean, they didn't get all that many rounds on the T side. They only got five in the end, 10-5, but then got it, going on to CT, it just looked like easy street for them. Yeah, I mean... I don't know what it was, but Hellraisers, they, they never really find the, the right formula there. They, they, they were on the B-bomb side a lot. They got in there, they got the bomb down. They even got like, you know, three versus three, but then they couldn't hold on to anything. No. So, um, you know, just good job getting onto B, but they needed more of a plan afterwards, I think. Wondering. Well, I mean, new roster, yeah. two new players, so, I mean, and a stand-in. They yeah. didn't even have simple. They had LMBT. So, I mean, yes, it's their coach, but they yeah. might, I mean, when you're getting onto T side, the communication needs to be so on point, so rapid. Yeah. In light of that, I'd actually say it's a pretty good job for them, right? I mean, yeah. they, they, they're still a respectable effort there. They got a chance to show themselves a bit. Oscar, I think, still showing some of that quality, but even if he was a little bit nervous, maybe um, still doing pretty well. 
That's putting Dignitas up into... I mean, they're, they're just slowly climbing up the ladder right now, Dignitas. They're actually, sitting in fifth. I mean, currently, for, they're going to be four and one, right? Yeah. So they're actually going to beat out Dignitas and uh, oh, sorry, TSM and Envy. It's just looking really grim for Hellraisers. Hellraisers right now, I mean, they're deep into like relegation zone, 10th in the league there. They're going to be one four now. I mean, it's not going to be pretty... It's really going to be a rough end to the season for them if they can't get their stuff together. But Dignitas, mm -hmm. I'm so glad to see them actually sitting up there. I mean, they're ahead yeah. of Nip. They're ahead of Virtus Pro. And Hellraisers could really use a qualification for this tournament just because, I mean, they didn't qualify for the major either mm. in a kind of a shocking fashion. So, um, yeah, there would, there would be a lot of, a lot to win for them there. But, um, guys, the night is not going to be over just yet. We've obviously got uh, Fnatic and, um, and SK playing. Um, if you haven't missing any of the results, um, like we're talking about, Dickens is doing pretty well. If you've missed any of it, then definitely go and check out the, the score eSports, um, which also you can download at iOS and Android. It's right there, guys. Um, so download them on your phone, the application, and keep up with all things eSports and also, you know, uh, articles and stuff like that. So definitely go do that, and you can maybe check it out in the break, which we've got coming up in about five minutes, and then we'll be back with SK and Fnatic.